relatively recent changes to the immigration law, it is now pretty easy. Under the old provisions, an H-1B employee who wanted to change employers had to wait until the USCIS, the former INS, approved the petition by the new employer before he or she could start working for that new employer. However, thanks to the American Competitiveness in the 21st Century Act, AC-21, and H-1B portability, it's not that troublesome anymore. AC-21, the American Competitiveness in the 21st Century Act, was effective October 17, 2000. It made several significant changes to the way things are done. It allows an H-1B worker to change employers and begin working, working for the new employer as soon as the new employer files an H-1B petition. The H-1B employer no longer has to wait for the new H-1B petition to be approved. H-1B portability. The ability to be bestowed on the H-1B worker to start working for the new employer as soon as the new employer fi files the petition, without having to wait until the new petition is approved, is known as H-1B portability provisions. H-1B portability rules have been a great benefit for all H-1B employers seeking to change employees. Eligibility requirements to qualify for H-1B portability. Because the H-1B portability provisions bestow the privilege on the H-1B non-immigrant worker to start working for the new employer before the H-1B petition is approved, the requirements to qualify for H-1B portability are slightly rigid. To be eligible for the H-1B portability provisions, the following requirements must be met. Lawful admission to the U.S., the non-immigrant worker must have been lawfully admitted to the United States. Two, non-frivolous petition. The new employer must have filed a non-frivolous peti petition for employment before the date of expiration of the non-immigrant workers period of authorized stay in the U.S. A non-frivolous petition is one that has a reasonable basis in law or fact. Three, only legitimate employment. The non-immigrant worker must not have accepted any unauthorized employment subsequent to his or her admission and before filing the new H-1B petition. Four, previously issued H-1B. The non-immigrant must have been previously issued an H-1B visa or otherwise been provided H-1B status in the U.S. Five, current status in the U.S. The non-immigrant worker must be in an unexpired H-1B status, i.e. it must be current when the petition H-1B petition is filed. Only if all the above requirements are met can the H-1B non-immigrant start working for the new employer as soon as the new petition is filed. Let's look at the benefits of H-1B portability. The H-1B portability provisions have been a benefit for both employers and non-immigrant workers. The changes made it easier and allowed H-1B non-immigrant workers to, to change employers smoothly. What are often long delays created by when an H-1B non-immigrant worker wanted to transfer to a new employer, but had to wait for a new H-1B petition to be approved, have now been reduced. H-1B and H-1 non-immigrant workers also benefit from the consistency that the portability rules bring to the hiring and planning process. Let's take a quick look at what can happen. Frank James, who was employed by Company A, hears layoffs are coming, and to protect his status, applies for a change of status from H-1B to H-4. He then receives a job offer from Company B, who submits a new H-1B petition for him and requests an extension of his H-1B status. Frank uses the H-1B portability rules to begin employment with Company B. Before there is a decision on his change of status request, Frank departs the U.S., taking a day trip to Canada. He returns to, with a receipt notice for H-1B petition for Company B. Company B's H-1 petition is then approved. Three months later, the change of status to H-4 is also approved. What is Frank's status in the U.S.? Frank will be in valid H-1B status with Company B. The H-4 application is considered abandoned when Frank departs the United States. Had it not been for that trip, Frank would be in H-4 status without work authorization because that was the last application approved. Travel while working under the H-1B portability provisions. We often get requests about whether an H-1B non-immigrant who is working at a new employer under the portability provisions can travel in and out of the U.S. before the H-1B transfer has been approved. The answer is simply yes. 
An H-1B non-immigrant working under the portability provisions is allowed to travel in and out of the U.S. freely. However, in order to re-enter the U.S., the H-1B non-immigrant should have a copy of the Form I-797 filing receipt showing that a petition was filed by a new employer and should also carry a letter from the new employer stating that the H-1B holder is currently working for the new company. Revocation of H-1B petitions. There are also no USCIS regulations that speak about an automatic revocation of an H-1B petition when the H-1B worker leaves his or her employer. The H-1B petition remains valid until its expiration date or until it is revoked. Generally, an employer must file a notice of revocation with the USCIS when an employee leaves, notifying the USCIS that it wishes to revoke the petition for that employee. Technically, an employer must continue to pay an H-1B employee until the re revocation notice has been sent to the USCIS. This is why most employers will send the notice as soon as they learn that an employee is leaving the company. Let's summarize things. The H-1B portability provision allows a non-immigrant worker to change employers and begin working for the new employer upon filing of the new H-1B petition, rather than waiting for the petition to be approved. The petition must be non-frivolous, and the beneficiary must be a non-immigrant admitted to the U.S. He must have been previously issued an H-1B visa or otherwise provided H-1B status, must not have been employed without authorization before the petition was filed, and must have an unexpired period of stay when the petition is filed. Visa provides you with the expert guidance necessary to successfully change employers freely using H-1 portability provisions. Contact a Visa Pro immigration attorney if you have any queries about the H-1B portability, and our experienced attorneys will be happy to assist you.